So a quick video to give you a whistle stop tour of the Thermomix, why you need one, how it can help you, everything that it can do for you. This is the TM6. Um, Thermomix has been around for 51 years now. TM6 has been around for five years. So it's a very well-established brand, very credible, um, huge in Europe, in Australia, um, and, and uh, many, many countries. It generally comes in the white color, the original white color. Um, but at the moment, we have this limited edition black. Um, once the offer is over, you won't be able to buy the black. So it's worth bearing that in mind. The cost of a TM6 is £1,276. Um, and it's just worth banking that number. And I'll explain um, everything that you get for that, for that amount. The Thermix comes with the mixing bowl. And inside, you've got a knife. A knife is sharp one way, blunt the other. So um, it does all your chopping um, and milling, mincing, everything like that. But then if you are stirring and heating, you send it backwards um, and it will use the blunt side, same for kneading bread. Those settings are all preset in a guided recipe. So you don't have to worry about that too much. It's so uh, simple to use. Um, but equally, if you are into your cooking and a bit of a chef, you can do it all manually. So you can control all your own recipes. So it's it's perfect for both scenarios. Um, what you get with your Thermomix for that price, 1279, is um, the unit, the mixing bowl. You get this simmering basket, which shows in there. That's brilliant for steaming veg, uh, potatoes, steaming rice. You get this spatula, um, which hooks into your simmering basket, um, very easy to, to get your hot steaming rice out. Um, you also get butterfly whisk, that just sits on top of your knife, um, and that will help you whip up cream, meringues, mashed potato, guacamole, um, mousses, and things like that. Pop the lid on, and then you can use this Varoma. This is your double layered steaming basket and creates opportunity for super efficient cooking. Uh, the energy um, consumption on the TM6 is only maximum one kilowatt, which is really, really efficient if you compare it against all your other kitchen utensils. Um, in here, you could steam a whole chicken if you wanted. You can, amazing recipes for steaming salmon, meatballs, um, steaming your veg. You could be cooking your tomato sauce down here, meatballs up here. You could have your chicken in there, chicken breast in there, leeks up there, creating a stock down here for a beautiful chicken pie. Um, 90,000 recipes. So really it's endless that the options of what you can do. Um, you can also use this to pre-bread if you're short of time because you can get a consistent temperature in here. You can also use it to ferment. So again, if your kitchen's a bit cold in the winter or something, and you want to ferment some yogurt or kimchi, use your Varoma. The um, energy usage is very, very low. Um, but for 12 hours, you can pop something in there and it would be at a constant temperature and do beautiful fermentation. Last thing is you get this little splash guard and that just helps if you're making jams, chutneys, high temperature cooking, just to avoid things splashing out. Um, Okay, now let me quickly tell you the offer at the moment. So we've got this 0% um, and it's only until Monday. Um, you can get, a, you, you've got a choice of your TM6 in black or in white, but the most amazing thing is only until Monday, it comes with a second mixing bowl. Having a second mixing bowl is amazing, if, especially if you do a lot of cooking. If you're halfway through a recipe and suddenly you want to grind some icing sugar or you want to grate some cheese, you don't have to empty anything out of this bowl. You just quickly swap your bowls and you can get going with it. It's brilliant if you're doing batch cooking. It's brilliant if you're dealing with allergies and you could cook one, one with gluten or without, um, things like that. The second mixing bowl retails at £169. So with this offer, you are saving £169 by getting the second bowl, but you are also able to get a limited edition black, but you are also able to get it on interest-free finance for up to three years, um, which is £35 a month. So it makes it a lot easier to spread that cost out. And believe me, you can easily save £35 a month um, 
by cooking from scratch. And if you already are cooking from scratch, you'll save a huge amount of time because remember it's like 20, 30 kitchen utensils in one and it's in one place. So it's your recipe book for starters all on here and I'll show you that. But it's your weighing scales, it's your mixing, it's the fact that it processes your food, chops it all, it can mince your meat, it can grind flour, it can grind coffee beans, it can grind spices, it can heat and roast your spices because it has the high temperature cooking mode, it can slow cook, it can sous vide. There are loads of modes which I'll show you, boiling eggs, things like that. It has a self-clean mode um, and it's just the efficiency that it enables you to have in your kitchen. So you can either create loads more amazing uh, dishes if you love cooking, but equally if you just want to get a meal on the table, um, and you're not a fan of cooking or you don't have confidence, the Thermomix will do it for you and it will give you that confidence and you have confidence that you will be eating amazingly tasty food, but really good food because you've made it from scratch and you know what's gone into it. So that's the blurb. Let me now show you how it works. Okay. So I'm going to spotlight my other, um, my, actually, before I do that, let me just share my screen. I'm going to show you the cookie do app. Whoa, bear with me, bear with me. How can I do it? Share screen, sorry, there we go. So I'm going to share my screen and show you cookie do. So cookie do is the app, the recipe app that we use that is um, created just for Thermomix, okay? Uh, it's cookiedo.co.uk. I would recommend you go on there, create an account. You can do, you get one month free and go and see everything that we've got, all the recipes that we've got. There's a huge amount of information. If you go to explore, just whiz through these latest recipes, um, details on our latest cookbook, details on how you can create your own recipes. And again, if you're a, if you're a creative chef or you want to do your own recipes, you can do that and you can put them into cookie do. So you can do your own recipes, but using Thermomix, you're not bound by their recipes. There are 90,000 recipes, so they, they will give you a good start. But you can see this is all seasonal. I guess it's all summer. It's all barbecues. But just keep going. Have a look at all of these recipes. You've got all of these then collections. These effectively are their cookbooks. Um, and if you want to search something, so today I thought we'd do the tomato and red pepper soup. You can see it's already there. Red pepper soup. If I put in tomato and red pepper, hopefully it comes up. There it is. Now this is the one I'm going to do. If you click on those three buttons, you've got options. If I click cook today, it's going to whiz over to my Thermomix and be ready for me to cook today. But equally, I could add it to a collection and I can go add to collection. I could create my own collection. I've probably already got one um, on here. Uh, named soups, perhaps, there we go. I could add it to my soups one. Then these recipes appear on my Thermomix. So I don't have to be searching the whole time. 90,000 recipes, you can get a bit overwhelmed. So just save your favorites. Equally, I can plan my week and I can say, do you know what, I wanna cook this on Tuesday. And then also what I wanna do is I wanna add it to my shopping list so I can add to shopping list. Now my shopping list is probably a bit of a mess, but let's, if I go to my week, you can see, so I've said, this is everything I'm gonna to cook today, okay? So I made the chicken and chorizo burgers yesterday, I minced the meat, I'm halfway through making the salad, I'm gonna steam my salmon later, we've got lots of people coming today, and I've made my frozen mojito cheesecake, that's in the freezer ready to go. Um, I've made the dip, I made that yesterday, I've made the dough for the flatbeds, I've made the dough for these um, tomato, sun-dried tomato share and tear breads, so I'm gonna bake them shortly. These are all done in the Thermix. So it shows you the breadth in the, um, of what of what this uh, amazing product can do. So here is my soup that I just said I'm gonna cook on Tuesday. And then here's my shopping list. So if I go show ingredients, this is everything from my shop yesterday. So you can either walk around the supermarket and tick things off, or you can go buy recipe and just double check everything. When you're ready, just double check things because you might already have lentils. So tick those off, for example. When you're ready, you can either, like I said, go to the supermarket. You can share it and send it to somebody else who's going to the supermarket. Or it's really worth knowing this for efficiency. You can order it from your local supermarket. I use Sainsbury's. I'll click on that and then it will open up my Sainsbury's account and add to my Sainsbury's basket. So again, efficiency is is incredible. I just wanted to show you that before we start cooking. Right, um, now we're gonna start cooking. So I'm going to show you, hopefully this will work. You can see the screen of my Thermomix. 
If I go to my home screen, you've got three wheels. You've got the, the time, the temperature, and the speed. Click on the knife, this is the knife. Click it again, and it says reverse is enabled. So just know this is how you can use it manually. You don't need to worry about this so much when you first start out. Follow their recipes and that in itself will teach. But just know that you can do everything manually if you want to. If you swipe left to right, you're back to your cookie do account. Like I just showed you on my computer, you can get your cookie do account here. Swipe again, right to left now. These are all the modes, standalone modes that you can use. So you can pull up your scales and you can just weigh something ad hoc there. I'm pushing weight on it. You can see the scales go up. Um, equally, you've got the chop function. If you want to chop an apple, you want to chop an onion, just go in, find apple, and it will tell you how fast to chop it and preset it. Dough, that's the kneading function. You can knead pizza dough in, let's say, two or three minutes compared to 10 minutes by hand. So again, a huge time saver. Turbo is the quick blitz. Pre-clean is amazing if you've done something messy. Blend, self-explanatory. Egg boiler mode is fantastic if you want perfectly boiled eggs, whether they're soft, medium, or hard. Kettle, super energy efficient. You can use your Thermomix as a kettle. Warm-up mode is great for heating up things like custards and uh, hollandaise, those sensitive sauces. Thicken mode, brilliant for your cheese sauces and things like that. Rice cooker mode for cooking your rice. Fermentation mode, I mentioned already in the Varoma. Slow cook is brilliant. Um, you can use it to slow cook stews and curries. Um, and and it, again, very energy efficient. Sous vide, I don't know if you know sous vide, but cooking in the water pouches um, is, is brilliant to maintain the best nutrient content of your food, whether it's vegetables or meat, it will break your meat down so it can make your steak super tender. Um, and is just a really, uh, a really fancy way to cook to give you incredibly restaurant quality results. Peeler, the peeler is not included in the Thermomix. It's a silver disc and it costs 32 pounds. And you can always add that to your order and that will help you peel your potatoes and your garlic and your beetroots and round root vegetables. And then grating and slicing, they're attached they work with the cutter. Again, that's not included, and I think it's um, something for, a, for another day to talk about, but it slices and it grates. Um, but you can do a lot of that within your Thermomix, so it's not a necessity, I would say. It costs 99 pounds. Again, you can include it, and just ask me any questions about that if you want. There's so much that we can talk about with Thermomix, but I just want to give you the, 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 the basics, and then just remember I'm available. Um, for any other questions, if you go down the route of the Thermomix, I'll support you. We'll do a demo um, and I'll, I'll be on hand for any questions in the future. Right, now that we're ready, go back to our homepage. I'm going to click on these top three lines and you've got all of these options. If I go to my recipes, created collections, these are the collections that I've saved. So we remembered we saved that tomato soup into the soup collection. It will now be there. If I go back again, You've got my week. This is everything I plan to cook. So I don't have to worry about lists and stuff. Everything's just here and I can work through it in an orderly process. If I go to recently cook, this is really useful. If you cook in the same porridge, let's say every day, you don't want to necessarily plan it, just go back and you can click on something recently cooked. Settings is where all your Wi-Fi settings are, your cookie do um, connections and everything like that. Help and safety instructions. So let's go back to my week to find this tomato soup. Scroll down all the recipes that I plan to do today and let's click on red pepper soup and tomato soup. You click here, it tells you it's going to take 10 minutes prep time, 30 minutes total time. Your ingredients are here um, and the instructions are over there on the left. When you're ready, and it's got nutritional information there as well. When you're ready, click on start cooking. Okay, now it's asking for 40 grams of lentils. Taking the lid off, so remember to tear your scales. This is a great recipe because you're using lentils to thicken your soup. So it's super healthy, full of fiber, full of protein um, and low fat. So I'm just going to put in 40 grams of lentils, red lentils. There we go. Let's see if the scales go up. Let me just show you that inside. So that's my lentils inside the mixing bowl. Let's come back here. Um, I click on next. It tells you to put the lid on with the measuring cup in. So that goes in, click on next, and now it's set to 10, 20 seconds 
and on speed test. So it's going to be quite easy. Bear with me. Let's grind. Um, Right, so that's that ground. Let me show you what it looks like. So the hand has come off, and you can see you have the most amazing lump of powder in there now. Okay, so I'm going to transfer that over to my bowl because it tells me to transfer and set aside. So just pull that into a bowl. You see that beautiful powder? That's our thickening agent. And I'm going to leave that there for a second and then just come back to um, my thermomix. So now it's asking for two cloves of garlic. So I'm just putting in two cloves of garlic into the mixing bowl and then 50 grams of onion quartered. So I've just got a half a small onion there. Hopefully that's enough. 62, that will be fine. 200 grams of red pepper. Don't waste your time chopping. I've just chopped, it's an orange pepper because that's what I've got and it's what needs to be used up. I've just chopped it into quarters. Okay, let the thermomix do the chopping. Um, so don't waste your time. We're a little bit um, a little bit low on the weight there. So I'm just going to add in a little bit extra uh, red pepper. I also know I'm going to use this red pepper later, so I'm not worried about cutting into a new one. 50 grams of olive oil. So just very carefully pour in your olive oil. Obviously, you can't take liquids out so easily, so just be careful. If you want to go less oil, more oil, you've got full control. It won't stop you. If you want to skip an ingredient, if you don't like, I don't know, salt or chili or something, then don't worry about it. Insert the lid onto the Thermomix. Okay, click on next. And it's just set for two seconds. Can you see that on speed five? So I'm just chopping, turn for two seconds. And that's everything chopped. So this is where I think you can see the real time saver. Okay. And the fact is you're not getting out loads of different utensils, your scales, your food processor. Um, tells you to scrape down the side. So I'll do that because we're going to saute these now. Okay. So it wants the simmering basket to go on top. That's to allow the steam out. And we're set to five minutes on speed one. So let me just bring you back. Um, hopefully this is working with my pins. Apologies if it's not. So that's your onions and your garlic um, and your peppers all chopped and now sauteing. So from a mess point of view, all I've got is my chopping board down here. Um, and because it's controlling the temperature, so it's set to hundred degrees, it's not gonna burn on the bottom. The temperature won't come on unless you've set a time, so it can't cook forever. But at this point, it releases me to go and do another job, um, to go and unload the dishwasher, to go and sit down, to go and do the laundry, whatever it is. Um, so by having a Thermomix, it really gives you so much time back that you can either cook more, so I, I love to cook, so that means, you know, if with my Thermomix, instead of just doing a curry lunch, I can make the yogurt, I can make the naan, I can, I can make the mango chutney, I can make the curry paste, as well as making curry lunch. So that's what I love about it. Um, recap, you get the second bowl with this offer available till Monday. Now the other offer, which is until the end of the month, although it's while stocks last, and let me tell you, these thermixes are flying off the shelves at the moment because we've never, and I know it sounds cliche, but we have never ever had an offer like this before um, since I've been working for thermix, which is nearly four years. So the other offer is called the Panda Bundle, and it means you buy your TM6 white and you get a second TM6 black, but for 50% off. Now, obviously buying two Thermomixes might not be what's what's uh, important to you, but if you had a friend who was interested, you could um, couple up together and you would both then save 25% on your Thermomix. You obviously one needs a white one, one needs a black one, so you'd need to agree with that. Um, but you would get 25% off your thermix, which is £319. Um, so again, an incredible offer, but that has to be paid in one payment. There's no finance plans for that. Um, 
but you've got a bit more time to consider that. With the finance finishing on Monday and that offer, um, if the finance is of interest, please let me know now because I think we would need to start the application. I wouldn't want to leave it too late and then we miss the deadline of, of the free second goal. Okay, um, what else can I tell you about? What we're gonna do next, um, you, you've got options here to preview the next few steps. So if I press preview, it will tell me to get my tomatoes ready. So I'm, you can use fresh tomatoes or a tin of tomatoes. I'm gonna use a tin of tomatoes because I always have tins of tomatoes. I prefer the flavour, I think, from the sauces and stuff with tin tomatoes because I think it is a bit of a richer flavour and a richer colour. Um, so I've got my tomatoes ready. I've got my water ready um, here. And then it's going to ask for stock cubes. That's something I can tell you about. So stock cubes, um, I used to spend a lot of money on. They're a little bit, I'm a bit wary of what's in them from an ultra processed food point of view. So now what I try and do as often as I can is make my own stock um, paste. There's recipes on cookie do for stock paste. And I use all my wasted bits of veg. So the ends of courgettes, the ends of leeks, the peelings from carrots and potatoes, the leaves from cauliflower. And every time I'm prepping veg, I just keep a bag in the freezer and I put all my wasted bits of veg in there. And then when I've got enough, I use follow the vegetable stock paste recipe and I make my own vegetable stock paste. And it's basically you um, chop up all your veg, the flour mix chops up all your veg, you add some olive oil, you add a load of salt because that's your preservative and therefore you use your really good salt, um, not your cheap table salt, which is probably what's in your normal stock cubes. Um, and you use your thermix to whiz up this amazing vegetable stock paste, and that replaces all your stock cubes. It'll save you actually quite a lot of money, um, because stock cubes um, work out quite expensive. And for me, this is all wasted vegetable in any way. So all I'm paying for is the salt. Um, and, and you know that you've got no nasty preservatives in it. So that's my stock paste. I'm gonna use that in a minute. Because you've got salt in it, it lasts for quite a long time in the fridge. Um, I actually dry mine out and create a powder out of it. Um, and you can also do chicken stock paste as well, if that's what you wanted to do. So I've got my stock paste ready, I've got my water. Next, um, you add then your lentils and you'll see, I won't keep you on at the end to the end of this, but at the end, um, once it's cooked, the Thermomix will blend it and it has a really high, because the power, the power of the engine is so powerful, it blends it to a silky smooth consistency. And um, you've got your lentils in there, so it creates a really creamy soup, but there's no cream or no butter in it. So it's brilliant. Right, it's dinging to tell me it's ready. So we've got everything ready to go in. Uh, so 400 grams of tomatoes, that's a tin. Brilliant, easy. And then 400 grams of water. So I'm just gonna put this water back in the tin. So nothing is wasted. That goes in. Okay. And then click on next. My stock paste, which we already spoke about. Oops, a heat teaspoon. There we go. Reserve lentils. They go in. Okay. Two cool. of salt. So again, use your good quality salt. Um, if you don't want to put it in, if you're cooking for little ones, then you don't have to. Two cool of salt. Add a okay. bit of cayenne pepper or chili pepper. There we go. Click on next. And that is your red pepper and tomato soup. Okay, so click on next, simmering basket on top. And now it's preset. So remember all these um, settings have been preset by the recipe. So it's set to 14 minutes, 100 degrees. So again, it's not gonna boil over. Um, and speed two and a half. So it's stirring it all up. It's still quite chunky at the moment. But it's going to cook for 14 minutes and these recipes are tried and tested so the cooking times are perfect without overcooking um means so you know you've got a really good level of nutrients and everything in there at the end so in 14 minutes time 
You're going to have to put the lid back on, the measuring cup back on, and it's going to blend for a minute. Okay, so that is a whistle stop for of a thermomix, why you need one in your hand. So remember, it can replace things like your food processor, your ice crusher, your spice grinder, your pestle and time, your scales, your ice cream maker, your yogurt maker, your um, what else? slow cooker, your bread maker, did I say that? Your zester, your grater, um, you, you can mill flour. So all of that is in here. I don't put mine in a cupboard. I use it four or five times a day. I know every time I use it, I'm saving money and I know I'm creating much better food than I could otherwise have bought um, if I didn't have the time. So <laughs> I hope that's useful. Follow me at Jane's Kitchen 2020. I've got more information there. Call me anytime um, and hope to speak to you soon. Have a lovely day. Bye.